What's going on? Brandon Epstein here from Mental Fitness Training. In today's video is all about the mindset of getting rich or wealthy or, you know, a lot of money. So let me get right into this video. I want to let you know that this video, I'm actually going to share with you exact tactics that I use for my own life that I've used with my clients to create abundant wealth. But it all comes down to your willingness to follow through, take massive action and actually take ownership over the whole process. Because yes, the law of attraction, it's a thing. Your energy that you put out into the world is going to come back to you. But if you just sit in your room and you meditate all day and just try to manifest, that's just not going to work. You actually have to do things. You have to take action. I'm going to give you some of what those actions are today. And some of them are just uh, psychological frameworks that are going to help you function better. So before I actually share exactly what those are with you today, I do want to let you know that I have a lot of free training available in my new mental fitness book. So if you're interested, it's linked up in the description below. Again, it's free. Could have put it on Amazon, could have made it available for purchase, but I want everyone to get this information because it's so powerful. What I teach in this mental fitness training book gives you the tools to control how you feel, how you behave, and what you create, including money. So definitely check that out. It's linked in the description below. Now let me get into the topic of this video, which is manifesting lots of money, the mindset for money, and that all comes down to step number one, which is getting clarity. And I gotta ask you, a lot of people wanna get rich, but do you even know what getting rich means to you? Like, is that having $10,000 in the bank? $100,000? A million dollars? Does that mean you just have this money stocked away somewhere? Do you have it in equity? Is this, do you make uh, this kind of money recurring? Do you make $10,000 a month? $100,000 a month? A million dollars a month, right? So step one is getting absolute clarity of what rich means to you. And so some people, what they do is they'll start off with this massive financial goal. They'd be like, I have this business idea or I have this vision, I'm gonna make a billion dollars. And the reason why they put, make that number so high is because they want to make it unattainable for themselves. So if they ever, you know, fall short of reaching that goal, it feels like, you know, oh, well, it was so big anyway that, you know, they're never really taking ownership and saying committing fully to doing it because the goal is so audacious that it just seems like, oh, yeah, I'm going to do that one day. No, let's not play that game. Let's actually get grounded in reality here. Okay, you can always thrive for a billionaire goal down the road, but let's ground ourselves with what's actually going to make you feel rich today. And I'll share with you what my personal experience was. For me to feel rich, all I needed was $10,000 a month USD. I always thought to myself, man, if I could get $10,000 a month USD coming in, like I'm going to be so abundant. I'm going to have more money than I know what to do with. Well, now I got a wife. I got a kid on the way, I live in Los Angeles, so that's changed a little bit for me over the years, but at the time when I first started with this exercise, I got clear on $10,000 a month was my financial goal. And from there, I was able to move on to $500,000 a year, and I've moved on to other goals after that, depending on you know the different check marks that I've hit and benchmarks I've reached along the way. So for you personally, don't do something like, put out an audacious goal, audacious goal that seems so big that's unattainable. Ask yourself, realistically, what's gonna make you feel rich? And maybe that means like, hey, you can go to the grocery store, buy all your groceries and not think about how much it costs or you're able to drive around the car you want or you can rent a home or buy a home, whatever it is for you. I want you to think about that and know that we can start here with clarity on one thing and you can build to something else. But I want you to write down right now, step one, write down with clarity what it is your financial goal actually is, okay? Now, once you actually have that goal, you actually have a GPS destination. So your subconscious mind is always working for you. And when you say, okay, I'm gonna make a, a million dollars this year or in three years, whatever it is for you, then your subconscious starts going, okay, that's the destination. Now, how are we gonna start working towards that? And what you need to start doing is reverse engineering that goal with actions. And those actions need to be consistent. So actually they're not just one-off actions, they are habits. And so you need to ask yourself, what habits do I need to put in place in my life 
for me to achieve that goal. And so you can't be unconscious about any of this process. You can't just say, I have this audacious goal. I'm going to meditate and use a law of attraction to create it. Honestly, it does not work that way. You need to actually put the, the steps in place to achieve what you want because energy flows where, or energy goes where energy flows. So yes, visualization, all those things are very good, but in the physical 3D reality here, you gotta do things. So I want you to ask yourself, if you do wanna create that financial outcome, how are we gonna do it? And you need to ask yourself, is it through building a business? Is it through investing? What are gonna be the things that you're putting in place to actually create that outcome, okay? And the reason why this is such an important part of the mindset element of actually getting rich is because most people don't wanna take that full ownership over breaking down or reverse engineering that full process of going from where you are to where you wanna be, okay? You need to be able to you know, set up a spreadsheet and say, okay, you know, if I do these actions consistently and these metrics grow, I could eventually hit these goals that I set for myself. And that's essentially what I've done with all my businesses. Uh, I mostly make content online and then I monetize in the back end through products. So I say, if I get this amount of attention today and that converts at this percentage and I have these products to sell, that means I'm gonna make this amount of money. And if I do this consistently, I keep on getting more attention, do, get a better sales process, get more and better products, then my income's gonna go up over time. You see that? So you can't be unconscious of that process. You have to be aware that there is a progression, an exponential progression to get where you want to go. And it's not just by visualizing and imagining you're driving a Lamborghini, although I love the movie The Secret where they do that, you also have to put these actions into place. And I bet anyone who even was in that movie The Secret, if you ever saw it, would tell you the same thing. The point was not to just visualize, it's to combine these visualization tools with actions in the world. All right, so once you have your habits down, this may be the most important one I'm gonna give you today. You need to align your beliefs. Now, if your family is not incredibly wealthy, or maybe if they are and you have very negative connotations towards that, it's gonna be hard for you to create wealth with the beliefs that they gave you. Because a lot of people who don't have money, it's a consistent thing within the family unit, in the community. A lot of people have negative beliefs like money is the root of all evil, or money uh, needs to be attached to time. So you need to work, spend more time if you wanna make more money, or uh, you know, money is something that only bad people have, right? I don't know what the beliefs that you hold are, but you need to take the time to sit down and ask yourself what you believe about money. You know, I believe money is, and then finish that sentence and do it as many times as you need to, to pull out all those negative limiting beliefs and just get them out of here. And basically what you're going to do is if you believe something like, I believe money is for mean people then you need to change that, make it the opposite. I believe money is for loving people, right? And you need to make all your other beliefs after you find out what those limiting ones are, you need to stack empowering beliefs on top of your limiting beliefs. So one of the things that I mentioned earlier was you need to believe that you can make more money while working less because you can't keep making more money just with your time. You need to start to find systems to create passive income. That's how real wealth is created. So you also need to believe that you can make more money while working less. You need to believe that you deserve to make whatever amount of money that you set for yourself as your main goal. So if you say, I'm going to make a million dollars, say, I believe I deserve to make a million dollars in the year 2021 or whatever year that you're trying to reach that goal in. And so beliefs, I would say, are probably the most important part of this formula because they exist in the subconscious level. And although we, many of these go, they're completely unconscious and we don't know that they're there, over time, we're always trying to be in alignment with our beliefs. And so if we believe we don't deserve to make a bunch of money, we're never gonna make a bunch of money. And personally, I had to go back and change a lot of my negative beliefs around money, around money being bad, or how I should feel guilty about having money. You know, I grew up in a Jewish family and you know, nothing against, um, Jewish people and how they view money, but I wanted to create my own beliefs around money that align with what I believe to be in alignment with the highest version of who I wanted to be, right? So I wanted to believe that the more money I have, the more people I can help because I know that's true. And so I align my beliefs 
to basically say that the more money that I make, the more people I can help. So I'm constantly motivated to work harder and harder to make more and more money because I know I can help more and more people. So the beliefs are gonna be huge. And if you want help with this process and pulling out the beliefs, I actually have some really good sessions in my app, the Mental Fitness Training Mac app I've made available. That's linked up in the description below. So you can check that out. I have some audio sessions that actually can walk you through the process of pulling out these negative beliefs so you can replace them with ones that are actually gonna serve you and align with the highest version of yourself. All right, what else we got here? Okay, so once you've got your beliefs clear and you've gotten written down and write down as many positive empowering beliefs around money that you wanna have, record them on a voice note on your phone, just like this. It's an iPhone, they all have this voice note app. Record the voice note of your voice saying, I believe I deserve to have a million dollars. I believe money is something that allows me to help more people, all the positive empowering beliefs. And I want you to listen to this every morning when you wake up, every night before you go to sleep, when you're still in that drowsy state because you're in the alpha brain waves. So you're in a much more hypnotic trance, more or less, to where these messages can seep in and begin to reprogram that old programming. So do that. In addition, I want you to also be visualizing at least once a day living within your vision while you have all that money and making it feel real. There's two reasons you want to do this. Number one, you're getting your subconscious familiar with this and making it know, hey, this is going to be our reality. Number two, you may have some aha moments of, oh, living in this energy of feeling rich, you may come up with ideas about how you can make more money. So that can be a helpful exercise just because when you're living in the energetic space of feeling really rich, uh, you may have the ideas of a rich person that will help you get there get there. All right. So obviously it goes without saying the biggest thing is resilience. You got to stick with it. Never give up until you reach your goals. Uh, it's not going to happen overnight. If you want to do this right, it's going to take, you know, some time invested in it. for everyone is different, right? Some people are able to do it super fast. Some people it takes longer. Just realize that this is a process. And the most important part of the process is enjoying the process. So make sure whatever you pick, whatever tactics you're using to make money, see if you can align it with things that you actually enjoy. That way you're not like, oh, I gotta go try to make money today. Instead, it's a joyful process. You enjoy what you do, you enjoy what you're doing, it utilizes your unique gift. So you're fulfilled by the process of making this money and getting rich. Make sense? All right. I'm gonna stop rambling, cut the video right there. Thank you so much for watching today. Really appreciate you. If you wanna connect with me personally, uh, I've got uh, text messages that I can correspond with you on, so I'll leave my phone number in the description below. Again, I got the free book available for you down below. I got the meditation and mental fitness training app also available, lots of good stuff. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you on the next video.